ました。We will begin with the musical introduction and the lighting of the candles. We raise our candles in salutation to the higher forces, to the Lord of the world, to the Christ and his hierarchy, and to all humanity. May the blessing of the higher worlds descend into their consciousness. So mote it be. may be seated. We align with the soul.
we align with the group soul and realize our oneness in consciousness. We align with the soul of the new group of world servers in all the many countries of the world. And we align and realize our identity with the one soul of humanity. There is but one human soul, not is, but me, the one soul. And we carry our alignment further inward using our creative imagination from our position as if on the higher mental plane where love and light and spiritual will can be found we reach inwardly towards the plane of intuition, the plane of harmony, the buddhic plane. On this plane, beauty is encountered in a very pure form. And as a group, we touch this beauty and extend through the use of the creative imagination our thought towards the highest center on our planet where the spirit of peace the spirit of equilibrium who overshadows the planet can be found. Group alignment with the spirit of peace.
this great spirit, as we know, is one of the three great beings who form a protective triangle around the Christ, the Lord Maitreya. And we feel ourselves as if imbued with the energy of this great spirit of peace and equilibrium. And now, in imagination together, we reach even further towards the great being's goodness, beauty, and truth. As if outside our solar system, all together, goodness, beauty, and truth. And we seek to touch these great streams so that the good, the beautiful, and the true may enter our consciousness. and especially the being beauty, beauty. as if, from the lofty perspective, induced by the presence of beauty and peace, we realize that the world is not yet thoroughly influenced by them. All around us are dissonances and disharmonies which must be resolved.
And yet, to resolve these dissonances, we can reattune in that high space in the archetypal worlds where we can see and understand the cause of dissonance and disharmony. And within this stream of beauty and of peace in the face of all manner of dissonance and ugliness, we think now individually in the light of the group soul. of some of the most beautiful experiences you have ever had with art, with music, with dance, in nature, with people. Ponder, ponder what it is which has brought beauty into your life. What have been the outstanding moments in your life of beauty? the most profound moments of beauty you have experienced. Evoke your memory for these outstanding moments. And as they begin to occur to you, Perhaps you can see, as you immerse yourself in this quality of beauty, what these experiences had in common what quality 
did all of them share? See if you can feel this. going deeper into the nature of beauty as it has affected your life in the three lower worlds. And with the sense of this quality, which all your beautiful experiences share, raise your imagination to realize, if we can, the beauty of life and the ongoing synthesis, the ongoing peace, which prevails in the higher worlds. Beauty below, archetypal beauty above. The beauty of the higher world. The eternal beauty of the higher worlds and the passing moments of beauty in the lower worlds, but linked somehow together. And immersed in this field of beauty and peace, understanding what is this quality which your most beautiful moments have exhibited, begin to direct these energies of beauty and peace into your life and feel the main
dissonances and disharmonies begin to dissolve away. Locate them, and under the stream of beauty and peace, they begin to dissolve away. And as the peace of the higher worlds, the beauty of the spirit and of the intuitional plane comes into your life, you are held in the great harmony, the harmony which is, harmonizing your cleavages, your unhappiness, your distress, harmonizing from the Buddhic world. Melting away in the eternal now of the Buddhic world. For the soul is not distressed. The soul is harmony. And here we are, as a soul-infusing group, looking out into the world, we immersed in the field of peace and beauty, looking out at all that manifests as ugliness, as war, and we, as a soul-infusing group, direct the flow of beauty and peace into the world to beautify the ugliness and to transform war into peace. May harmonious quiet and equilibrium descend into the most troubled areas of the earth. May the calmness forever unperturbed of the Christ reach into 
the areas of violence, friction, aggravation, tranquilizing, harmonizing, unifying. Dissipating the glamours, dispersing the mayas, dispelling the illusions, so that people can see the beauty that resides in peace, and the peace in beauty. The troubled waters are calmed. The aggravated astral nature of man is rendered quiet. And vision appears where before there was only violence and blindness. Now ponder in this stream of peace and beauty, equality, expressed in a single word or two at most, <clears throat> which you will to contribute to the world and humanity to bring greater beauty and peace to our troubled world. What will be the offering of your soul to bring peace and beauty into a troubled world? And as your word begins to coalesce, feel into its meaning. And very quietly, we will all stand, very quietly. <coughs> and each one of us will have an opportunity to speak our word one after another as our offering to humanity and the planet to promote the peace that must prevail. I will begin here, and the board will offer their words, and then we will begin with the inner circle, with Robert, and go around, and then Bio 
you will begin the outer circle and go around. Understanding. Creative self-expression. Joyfulness. Grace of truth. Radiant love. Better, deeper understanding. Cooperation, then synthesis. Stillness. Harmlessness. Transcendence. Gratefulness. Thanks. Courage. Compassion. Shanti. Calmness. We will now revolve and face outward with our hands raised in blessing, as if symbolically offering blessing to the entire world and all human beings. We are as if standing in the downflow of peace, beauty, 
harmony. All those qualities deeply appreciated when in the consciousness of the soul. And as a group together, we will sound the great invocation sharing all that we may have touched with whomever can be touched by it. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. <clears throat> Ooh. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. Oh. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Oh. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh.
we can lower our hands and face the center. I want to thank you all for participating and I would like us to leave the room uh, in silence and quietly and see you at 8.25 or 7 o'clock for meditation and then 8.25. Thank you all and good night.